The future is where my destiny awaits. <gasps> Forgive me, I was lost in a dream. I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me, leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. When first I turned my mind towards the salvation of the world, I came to the conclusion that it would take many long years, many more than remain to me. And so I made myself one with the Crystal Tower, that I might live indefinitely. I am but an extension of it now, hence my weakness the farther I travel and the longer I am away. It has been quite a journey. But thanks to you, the end is in sight. My wish will finally be fulfilled. How goes the construction effort? Then this may be the last moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. Tell me, when all of this is over, what will you do? That would be well deserved. You might consider roaming Norvrat not as her savior, but as a simple sightseer. Viewed through such eyes, I am certain she would seem quite different. But whatever it is you decide to do, I have every confidence that you will do well. For you have the strength to forge your own path. You will leave countless lives better than you found them, and the souls you touch will never forget your kindness. Then, in trying times, when you question your worth and your choices, they will raise their voices to remind you of the difference you have made. And thus will your deeds come to affirm your path. Remember this. When this is over, indeed. I once told you that there are things we can ill afford to lose. Things, I said, though in truth I spoke of a person, one who is unaware of the full extent of my plans. Though she deserves to know, I have good reason to keep my counsel. I have come to terms with this in my mind, Yet my heart yearns to lay everything bare. For she is my inspiration, and I would give much and more for the chance to speak with her as friends, with no thought of concealment. Should she indulge me with her tales, I would regale her with my own, about my efforts in Norfrat, perhaps. Though, ultimately, that tale is more yours than it is mine. Then, I would ask her about her next adventure. And if she should wish me to be a part of it, oh, how happy it would make me. Together we would travel the lands and cross the seas and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. My heart swells simply to imagine it.
But all of this is contingent upon our victory in the coming battle. The people of this world have entrusted their hopes to us. We cannot fail them. Nor those who roused me from my slumber. Thank you for your company, my friend. Let us return to Amity. Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Then you need only say the word. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch Vorthri, mountain and all. hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain! Oh, I knew this was a terrible idea! Four three marshals the Eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice.
Is that? Such a heartless thing, our sadly. It's cold and cruel and heartless! Summon us in times of need, we expressly said. Yet what should we find but the final battle joined without so much as a whisper of our name? Yes, we may also have said that we pay folk have no interest in the struggles of men. But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to her aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with her? We are so very, very sad. Cheer us up again! This I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. I will send word to Yostela and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gulg and be ready to make the ascent.